Welcome back. For the first time in about a month, Mike and I get to see each other in the flesh, and we get to do so on the brand new set. Welcome. Well, it looks like uh, it's from outer space. It's the Enterprise or something. It's very cool. They did a very good job with this. I'm excited to have you here, and it's a good week to talk about sports with you. Of course, a lot of lions to chew on, but Tigers first, big series coming up in Cleveland on Tuesday night. Absolutely. The week that was, they were four and two. Could have been better at times. Wasn't crazy about the lineup that uh, Jim Leland put out there on Thursday. Not crazy about Rayburn playing third base and batting third today. Uh, they did trade for some guy named Betamit, right? He hit, he is hitting like 280 something for the Tigers. He's not playing enough. But enough of the negative stuff. Fister, first start as a Tiger. Terrific. That's why they got him. Uh, Dwayne Belo today looked really good even in, in the loss. And Paul, even though he gave up the big hit on, on, on Friday, a broken batter, a bloop single, he looked pretty good getting the double play. So I think they're in good shape. People are, you know, counting Cleveland out already. Let me tell you, these young players, they hustle and all that comes. It's going to be a great series in Cleveland. And, and Leland doing the right thing. Right. Verlander will be pitching on Thursday. Yeah, although he did qualify it a little bit after last night. I agree with you. I think he will pitch on Thursday. But Jim said he's not really stuck with that yet. He wants to see how he recovers from the 92-degree heat. But I'm sure he also wants to see how the team does in the first two games Correct. against Cleveland on the road. JV will likely pitch yes. on Thursday. And he's also going to have now 10 more starts between now and the end of the season. Is he going to get to 20, number one? I think he is, oh, yes. obviously. How many does he have now? Where do you think he's going to finish? He's at 16, 16 and 5. Uh, 10 more starts. Uh, how about uh, he'll win six more games? I said 21 and 7 yesterday, and someone responded on Twitter saying, who's going to beat him? It's been that kind of season. Correct. They could have a hitting slump. That's the only thing. I'll, I'll say he'll win six out of the 10. It's been a great season to watch. Now, right. Lions, who's going to protect Matthew Stafford? I'm getting a little bit concerned about this offensive line. I know that Backus will be there when it counts in September. You've got to figure Cherilis is going to come back. But at least now some, some of the depth well, will get some experience. Well, first of all, you hope Backus is going to be back. Uh, Hilliard played really well last year when, when guys, are, guys went down. So hopefully he'll come in. There's a tough break about Jason Fox. And everybody's always worried because you've got to keep Stafford healthy and all that stuff. Yeah, that's very important. That right now, not the secondary. The offensive line looks like to be the weak link because of injuries, and they got to get that patched up. You know, it's interesting to hear some of the buzz about the defense and a guy like Spave, yes. who now two years later Schwartz is saying wasn't in very, or, you know, wasn't very good shape last year. He was Suddenly a rookie, he yeah. is in good shape, and now he's able to contribute. And he's really a little bit more in the mix, and maybe the job that might have been automatically given to Eric Coleman may not be his. Hey. That's, that's good news, actually, because that means you have one extra guy, Eric Coleman. Maybe he'll play a little bit of uh, nickel when they have to bring in an extra safety. He can play special team. That's okay. Give us your thoughts on first week. Friday, not the typical amount of time gearing up for the first preseason pre game, but they're going to take the field. What do you expect to see against the Bengals? Uh, I don't know what exactly. I expect to see a lot of the young guys play, uh, and I, I expect to see Stafford play like two series, make all his completions, his reads, and come away healthy. That's all I want to see. And I want to see LaSure run the ball well. And, you know, we got to see Titus Young on the field. I mean, his injury is upset. it's upsetting a little bit too right now. Earlier in the show, we talked about Michigan. Brady Hoke making the move. Stoneham gets mm -hmm. redshirted. A couple other guys get suspended. Yeah. Will Hegrip for uh, four games. Mm -hmm. Terrence Robinson for a game. What's your take on that and compare it to another high-profile non-suspension that we've seen? Yeah, well, look, Stoneham, he's really not being suspended. He is missing a year, which is a big thing. Um, Hagrup, I don't know exactly sure what he did, but, you know, you can always use punters. I know the freshman kicker is going to punt a little bit early. But I don't know, there's a school in South Bend, Indiana with an All-American wide receiver who had three brushes with the law as far as drinking goes, one DUI, and Brian Kelly says he's ready to go, Michael Floyd. I think that's a little weak if you ask me. Could be Stonehead worthy, but he is not taking the Stonehead of the Week this week. No, who is? Go, well, it could have also been Steve Williams. Be, you know, and a lot of people in this Williams-Tiger thing are on Steve Williams' side. He says, and you showed him earlier in the show, I mean, the greatest win of his career? Uh, hello, I know Tiger's been a bit of a jerk to you, put it mildly, but you've won some Masters, some U.S. Opens, Ryder Cup, President's Cup. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't care what Tiger did. That today could not have been the best win of all time for you. However, the Stonehead is the guy who did the busts at the NFL Hall of Fame induction yesterday, especially Deion Sanders. Look at this. This doesn't look like Deion Sanders. It looks like Jim Schwartz, for crying out loud. Whoever you are, go back to art school. Stonehead! That is Mike Stone. Happy to have him here on our new set with us. You can hear him every Monday to Friday from 6 to 10 on 97.1. And, of course, follow him at Stony 16 And watch him every Sunday here on the Sports Update. Nice to be back. Good seeing you again, Tommy. We'll do it again next week. Stay with us. We'll be back with more of the update right after this.